Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Serectum campaign as Sparta, glorious Sparta, and our empire is now vast, very nice to see indeed. I do want to finish off the damn Romans before we finish this though, however, and we do have some armies to do so. Of course, one's on the boats out here, a little bit risky leaving them out on the boats there, but I'm hoping... The Romans don't decide to come and attack because they think we're too strong to deal with their ships. Uh, there is Carthaginians on this island as well. Hasbrodal and Can Me. Can Me. Uh, we also have Aulus Panza. Who's this guy? Decimus, Pompilius, Acelio. And no one in there. How about Illyria? So no governor in Illyria. So if we kill these guys, probably the end of the Romans there. Unless this is a guy. No, that's Captain Gaius. So the Romans will probably end. Now in terms of what we've got to do this turn, I believe we've only got one thing to do. And that's sort out this, this uh, mercenary army over here. So you I'm on my friend. Get on to the bridge. These Bastanian infantry, they're not great. So we don't really want to take them if we can help it. We will take our, our scary boyos, of course. We'll go first with them. And is any in there? Yes, there is. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Take some of the archers. Do we have any more archers in here? No, but we do have cavalry. We'll take these guys. And we'll take this glorious cavalry. And we've still got a lot. Uh, to fill it up with. So. Potentially. These guys. If they can make it. Would be ideal. Um, I think they just about can. Mytonium's still happy. So that's fine. You get in the fort. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Well, I think that's it. We're going to end the turn, guys, and then we're going to have a look. Depending on the battles, of course. Then we're going to have a, a cheeky look at our rankings. See how we rank compared to the Ptolemies and the uh, Seleucids now. See whether we are still the Undisputed Rulers or whether one of those has decided that it was time for them to uh, overtake us. However, I think we'll still be it. We've lost a Sanka, but we've taken a lot more provinces. We took a lot of provinces last time. Ah, I love this. Thank you, Suebi. It's fantastic to see. Them coming and going within a turn is, is awesome. I've got to be wary of the Suebi, though, because they're a pretty strong, pretty strong nation, honestly. As we saw at the end of last episode, they brutally destroyed us in one of those battles. And it's just the fact that they, they run away. <laughs> we can't catch them. They run away. And then they surround you, which is a pretty good tactic, honestly, against Phalanx. Against Phalanx, boys. So, let's, uh, first things first, before we go through anything else. Because we have Cleonimos the Conqueror. Kellyas the Just is the, uh, is the, uh, factionaire, which I'm happy with. I just had a look. He's 39, and he's pretty much, I think he was 9-9, nine, nine, and it doesn't matter about his management. Of course, we're going up, and we're accelerating upwards still, which is fantastic. Uh, go for the top five factions. We'll include Carthage in that as well. Uh, we'll also include Rome, of course, just to see them go down. I'll put Massalia on there just because they might become one of our enemies. And let's have a look at military ranking. You can see uh, Carthage dipping there hugely. That was because of that one turn when we killed about four of their full stacks, which was <laughs> pretty funny, really. Um, so that's the Avarachi. Avarachi, sorry. No, it's not. Who is this red? Not Rome. Rome's pretty low. Oh, it's the snow? Not the Suebi? Who are you then? What? I'm confused. Oh, wait, that's us. <laughs> the Seleucids are higher than us. You can see the Ptolemies have actually taken a huge dip. That's us, of course. So, milit militarily wise, we're not quite as strong as the Seleucids, but they don't know how to use their military. Oh, my days! That is some production, boys. That is some production we've got going on there. A lot higher than everyone else. Territorial-wise, a lot better than everyone else again. And I'm hoping that for Rome means it's two. If it's not two, I don't know. I don't know what it is. 
Finances, you can see, boom, boom, we're going straight up now. And population-wise, we're pretty strong. Uh, yeah. Coming up to 1.2 million, so we're more than a million population right now. That's pretty good, I've got to say. Pretty decent. Um, right then. Get off. Attack there. We'll probably get attacked by the Romans next turn. But I'm not too unhappy about that. It's not too much of a problem. We'll go and pick up Protus the Great from Proton. Place named after himself. Aretium is foully unhappy. Can we do games here or races? No. Oh, goddamn, bro. That's annoying. I wish we could with the arena. It gives us that 5% happiness, though. Italic culture causing unrest. Of course it is. Um, what's the quickest way to make them happy? I mean, we go straight for that, I think. It's not going to work, though, is it? That's an extra 5%. So just take that for now. Where are all our crypt here? Uh, well, I need to take you out of Benoni. Yep, yeah, Benoni is still happy. 42 now. That's that's okay. Not ideal. Not ideal, though. You guys into Stalia. Just about make it happy. Uh, we'll send you on the boats. And we're going to send you back down to Ambrakia for retraining. Which we already have a bit of an army in Ambrakia, of course. So, up in the north. I mean, I'm happy just keeping these guys here for now. Until we get our boats back. They're fine. Not going to have a problem, are they? I think we send you guys in there. Just to ward off the Suebi. Now, clear Nymos, of course. Pretty bad result last time around, wasn't it? Get you guys out of Pella. And we send... Aeotrocles in for retraining. He's been in Asanka for many, many years. <laughs> many, 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 many years. The poor fella. But yeah, we'll get him... We'll get him... Uh, get him in there for retraining. He's just happy to see his homeland once again, most likely. You get in there with them. We've got a lot of infantry. We need the cavalry, really. Uh, and... Yori Kratides... Yuri Kratides, you're going to come and kill Captain Sigma. Then probably move to Nurea and potentially take that as our next outpost against the Suebi. The darn Suebi. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, they do they do border the Bosporans. So, uh, but first things first, let's uh, go and siege down uh, Olbia. Glorious Olbia. Send you three to there. Just a bit, a bit of resistance in case. Just in case. I mean, we're not really going to fight them too much. I'm happy with the Pergamon arrangement down here. I'm happy to sit in Sardis for a little while. Maybe a couple more turns. It is Greek. So, if we get rid of that. And build this instead. This is the one good thing with it being Ptolemaic land. Is it's already Greek, which is fantastic. Um, so Sparta, yeah, Sparta's getting the gold, the gold boyos, which is fantastic. So, got the army in Carolus, good. We've got an army coming back from Patavium. We've also got another army basically in Patavium, ready to come back for retraining. We've got you on the way there. We've got two armies coming back for retraining. Eatrocles. And Cleonimos, as well as the other one over there. We've got you in Ambrakia who needs an army, but it's cavalry that's really damaging us right now. Ambrakia, can we recruit cavalry? Can recruit Spartan cavalry, so I think we do that. We've got a deluge of infantry right now. And Athens is recruiting archers. Um, I think we go for some more cavalry. We just need more cavalry, really. And we'll recruit the general over there. 
So that's all good. Two armies down there. Three armies down there. Very nice to see. Defensive army in there. Going after Olbia. Cool. And then we'll go through the messages. Suebi, yep. Of course. Finally bred horse. That's quite a good one. Nice. Right. Let's do our building, guys. Argos. Uh, go for the Scriptorium. Philippopolis. Irrigation, of course. Try and make you into a huge city. Oiskos. Go for the Irrigation as well. Nisus. Let's go for the Lyceum. Uh, Singidunum. Singidunum. Uh, Great Agora, please. Byzantium just upgraded as well. Fantastic. Let's go for that Shipwright. Tarentum. Needs repairing of that. And... We go straight. I think we get the 5% and then we go for that. So I'm going to queue them both. Maleventum. Maleventum's happy enough. Go Shrine to Deimos and Phobos. Venusia got the second level. And they're still happy. That's fantastic. And they are getting converted to Greek now. Excellent. Mytonium got the communal farming. Oh god, Mytonium needs some repairing. Jesus. Let's go for that. It is Greek now. Fully Greek. Asculum. Let's keep going at those temples. Making them happy. Areusia. Go straight onto that. Aretium. Yeah, build that and then we'll build this. That's still very unhappy. UI Markia. Mm. Let's go for the awesome temple. Tavium, we got the roads. I think second thing there, then probably Shrine to Ares. Cool. Proton, got the Temple of Hermes. Uh, let's just go for the walls for that extra lore. Nicomedia. Yeah, we're already building. Uh, Mediolanium, yeah, we're building. And Patavium, we're building. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Any battles that we can do? No, I don't believe so. So I think we're at another end turn already. This is just a, a nightmare. Is Stalia still happy? No. Uh, is there any mercenaries available? Oh, there is. We're going to have to get them. We've got the money for it, so... 62 is not too bad. Not too bad. It also kind of puts this army off from attacking us. So that's good. Mm, Tarentum, 64. I think we'll be fine once those two are built. And Sardis, I'm kind of happy. I want to take Ephesus and then Halicarnassus. And we've got this little corner blocked off then. And then we can take Apamea and Patara. But first of all, we need to destroy Pergamon. But I'm, I'm just waiting for that to happen, of course. Right then, let's uh, end the turn. See what happens. Okay, they've attacked Nicomedia. That's That's fine. We've got some we've got some phalangites in there. It might be a losing battle, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Suebi as well for Patavium, that's fine as well. Ah Boss Suebians <laughs> What is going on here? Oh, interesting. I don't like this because Abastanian swordsman are going to get absolutely shredded by their javis. All of these units have javis, guys. So I think we retreat. Yeah, the Swebi got stuck by Olbia, which is funny. <laughs> They've come all the way from the west to the east to do that battle. I, I don't know why. Right then, Rome. It's time. It is time for you finally to fall to your knees and die. Equites, a cavalry's damage. This is a very nicely experienced army that Nicandrus has had. And he's had it from the start, though. So, Captain Spurious again. And then we've got Captain Aulus. I mean, it should be fine, right? We'll just defend. Should be, should be fine. We shall see. So, they're going to be coming from the left. So, we want to set up on the right. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battlefield. The yes. Glorious. Yes. Yes, of course. 
So we want to set up on the right like we spoke about. They've... What a coincidence, guys. They've got the hill again. <laughs> I could... Sw I swear. I swear. <laughs> we need hills. We have no hills. There are no hills for us. Uh, at this point in the game, honestly, guys, I would much rather fight the Romans than the Suebi. Our phalanxes seem to work so much better against the damn Romans than the Suebi. Which is kind of weird, but they do. They do. They do. It's it's true. Now, we'll get you in front for now. Um, we'll, we'll organize based on what's happening. We might even take this. What do we take? Uh, but then they can just come down. Um... Do you know what? Actually, it's quite a decent spot, isn't it? About here. And then we have our archers kind of on this bit of ground. And you guys can go there. You guys there. And we'll get cavalry-wise. Probably you guys on this flank. We want more on the right than on the left. Oh, I've split. I've messed them around. Do that. And then Nicandros, I think the right, just in case... Or wherever they set up. The enemy have brought more men to fight. So ideally in this situation, we want to be firing down there. Hello, Romans. Why would you run away? Because you do realize you attacked me, my friends. And I am not walking up that hill. Um, I guess we're going to have to turn a bit then. Um, the one thing with this is it's going to give them... Such javi advantage. Well, if you're going to play stupid uh, and do your stupid flanking moves as usual, we'll move backwards. <laughs> and we'll stick our archers in front for now. Cavalry. Oh, that's the edge, is it? Oh, I didn't try. I didn't mean to get right on the edge. But oh well. I guess we are. And here they come. Come on, archers. Fire away, boys. Who is this? Velites is their general. Oof. Poor choice of general, my friends. Look at them coming. Here they are. Get them, boys. Get them. Nice. Yeah, let's kill them. There's their general. The Velite general. And here they come. Should be a pretty simple battle, honestly. I mean, I hope so. And here the Romans come. One of the last times we might see this, guys. So, savor it. Take it in. <laughs> Savor the Romans. And savor our glorious phalangites. These are our, like, mid-tier phalangites as well. But they're all pretty good with the experience. Do we have... Oh, we do have these guys. Yeah, these guys are just just better in general. And their, their morale is unreal. Here they come. Walking into the phalanx. <laughs> nice one. Good charge, that Romans. Well done. And they're actually attacking the center for once. It's good on our part. Please just charge in. That would be hilarious. Yeah, we've got our we've got our better unit there. Now they're just going to walk in. That I mean, that would be fantastic. Okay, no, they do charge. Are they broken already? Ideally, so we need to destroy, basically we need to destroy this whole army to try and take, try and take our lands, Carolus. They say our lands, they were Carthaginian, right? And now they're, uh, now they're Roman, but they will be, uh, they'll be ours soon. Oh, they've got another Equites and this Equites has come back. Uh, oh, that's not going to be good for us. <clears throat> Do I take these guys on? I've got good experience, but their cavalry is definitely better. Okay, you guys there. 
Okay, we broke that one again. I think we need to come over and help these guys out because otherwise we might lose. And I don't want to lose these units ideally because they're, they're very nicely experienced. Get there, boys. Get there. Go in. Go in. Ah, uh, that should do it. That should hopefully kill him. Fighting to the death, which is excellent. There we are. He's dead. Fantastic. Right, we'll get that, Velates. Don't want to have to fight this Astarte, honestly. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming, bro. Kill the Velates! Problem with killing them up there is they'll get a quick route. I want to kill their whole unit, really. Come on, guys. Don't stop. Never the idea. Okay, Hastati's gone. Another Velates is gone. How many is that? There are only nine. Get into that Hastati. I think we'll break it. Don't like getting flanked, do you boys? Push them. Oh, we broke them as well. God damn it. Right, well, we'll designate you up there. You there. You to the end. And then the big boys, the big units left. They're left straight in there. Into the back of them. And they shall probably chain route. Most likely. There we are. Fantastic. I'll get them. Absolutely ruining them. Goddamn Romans. Is that everyone? We need to kill them all. So we will. Let's go. Speed it up. Kill them. Can't press on them. Oh, wait. We can't let these units away. The other 20. You go there. I think we will have killed enough, but you never know, guys. You never know. You always want to be careful when you're trying to fully destroy an army, just in case. Well, I think that's everyone on this side, isn't it? There we are. Velate General dead. Can't even see them. Ah, oh, they're over here. This is a for the Glorious. Nice. Ten to one. Solid. Spartan Cavalry doing well. Phalangites doing fine. Archers doing pretty well. Phalangites doing... This one doing really well. 71. Well done. 55 for this one and only losing one as well. Very nice. Fantastic. And the Romans have fallen once again. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Yes, victory and honor. And of course, uh, I think we'll go for an enslavement here at Carolus. Well, Carthage, please don't declare war on me. That would be quite annoying. <laughs> and it's simply Illyria that's left. Uh, a 32-year-old. No, thank you. A little bit old. Megalopolis has grown eventually. Good lord. Second, the second settlement we took after Argos. And it has only finally got to become a huge city. Auto manage you. Another successful buyout. Lots of settlements besieged. Yeah. They love besieging the Suebi and then breaking the besiegement and then leaving. Rome and Carthage are at war. Great. Rome, Seleucids and Ptolemies are back at war. That's great for us as well. And, hmm, the Aravachi, they must, they must have crossed the strait then. If they're fighting the Massilii, they must have crossed the strait. Carthage is kind of falling apart. Poor Carthage. No, not, not Carthage, guys, not Carthage. Right, Aegeon. Let's go for the Merchant's Quarter. Chalkis. It really doesn't matter at this point of the game. Larissa's upgraded as well. Let's go for the Ludus Magna. Mag. Mag. 
Yeah, Magna. Thessalonica. Let's go for that. Amphipolis. Uh, let's go for the catapult range. Yarda. Yarda's a pretty decent settlement. I think we'll go for some more of that. Dark Idava. Doesn't matter, really. Ancona. Great Agora. Tyras. Got the second level. That's fine. Let's keep going. I want this to be a, a bit of a recruitment hub. Tarentum. Tarentum's at 70 now, which is fantastic. We also had no uh, unrest that turn, which is great. Uh, what do we want? Malaventum. Go for the Lyceum. Um, and then Ascalum. Let's go for... I don't know. Right, one sec, guys. I'm just going to have to take something. Sorry, guys, about that. And we are back again. So Capua, yeah, we're going to... Let's have a look. Oh, it is recru it's going Greek now. Fantastic. It's a glorious thing to see these Roman lands turn Greek. Uh, well, I guess Nicandron, the only one we can go for is that. Uh, Aretium. Yep, going straight into that. Stalia, we've got the stone wall. Stalia is just a very unhappy place. I swear Stalia is always unhappy through whatever. I've, even when I took it as Carthage, they, they hated us. Stalia is just a, a, an angry place. An angry, angry place. Uh, Patavium. Let's go for the paved roads, even though we're under siege. It's fine. Tarentum. Yeah, Tarentum is going to get converted to Greek ish soon. As soon as Croton becomes majority Greek, which will probably be next turn, then Tarentum will uh, start converting as well, which is fantastic. Yep, and Mytonium. Yeah, Mytonium, we're already doing what we can. Fantastic. Great to see. Right, well, I guess we run away from this Suebian army. Uh, let's go for Chersiona. Chersey Nones. Leave Old Beer behind and leave the Suebi to do whatever they want to the Bosporans. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fight. It's not my fight, guys. It's not my fight. All right, this crit here. Let's get you on the bridge. Okay, it's cleared up a little bit around here. We want to be able to get them into Sardis so I can leave this army, remove this army. Which I think we will do next turn. Right, over here. Well, let's get... Uh, if we can get the uh, the boats here. We can get Proton on. Sorry, Protus. The city's called Proton. Uh, how's Proton? Pretty unhappy. 67 and 66. 67. It's tight. It's tight for uh, public order around here. How's Areusia? 113. Yeah, now they're happy. Good. Also, is Uimon on low? Yeah, it is. Right. Well, safest. Oh, it'd be awesome if we could get there, but I think we'll be okay. I don't think we'll get attacked by the Romans. And then we'll go and take Illyria. And Illyria is their capital, so I can't see them having Ebesus. I think that's our last, last bit of territory. The final Romans. The lonely Romans. The last Romans. No more Romans. <laughs> so, of course, we've got to get you to Ambrachia. And we've got to take you out. Get you in there. And we've got to retrain everyone. Keep going with those cavalry. Thermon, yeah, Thermon's still getting cavalry. Uh, did we retrain everyone at Pella? Pretty much. We need some cavalry again. So I think we'll send these boyos up to Bailazora for training. Then we've got Clear Nymos who needs retraining. Who are you? Yeah, you stay there. Everyone up here been retrained. Fantastic. God damn, Bylazor is not point, minus 0 0.5. Uh, there's nothing really we can do to uh, increase it, though. There's no buildings here that will increase it. It's not ideal, is it? 
It's really not ideal. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a squalor. Ah, so we can reduce the squalor with... Um, not with law, with public health, but there's no more health building, so how do we, how do we get it to a huge city? Oh, God. Oh, well, not a huge problem. So, east we're sound, over here we're dirt, we're good. Ah, we have this army as well, don't we? So, if I come and attack you, how much, oh, yeah, you're about half stacked. I can handle a half stack of the Suebi. Obviously, you've got these guys in the background as well. But we've got the Spartan Cavalry Bodyguard now, so we actually have decent cavalry for once. Yuri Kratidis. 20 years old with 5 command. Pretty decent. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on that glorious battle map. Here we are. Glorious. Some Germanic type forests. Yes, it must. These barbarians, they have their lands. They have gloriously large lands. But of course, we have greater. Group you boys. There. There. Of course, they're going to be dumb and run away. But I'm going to just focus on skirmishing with them to start with we've got a huge cavalry advantage okay they are they are right in front of us basically so what we can do spread out and any like individual units that come down we'll smash them to pieces with our Spartan cavalry absolutely demolish them hopefully let's have a look at these boys uh, yeah, 40 defense, 53 charge. Pretty nice indeed. A lot better than these boys. 22 defense, 27 charge. A lot better. Now we should be able to fire now. And let's fire. Fire away, boys. Get rid of these fools. Okay, they want to come out and... Uh, want to come out and play, do they? We'll fire the Javis first. They love to do that. Right then. If they're going to just send a few units, we might as well absolutely crush them. Oh, they're charging. Interesting. Okay, you're running away. Yeah, thought so. Thought so, you fools. Keep firing them in the back, boys. Fire at them in the back. Let's go. Fire. Come on. Skirmish continues. Go. Okay, they still have this unit. Let's get here then. See whether we can catch them. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, they are running away again. Nice. It's nice to see. They do have this cavalry. Freeman cavalry. Freeman. Freeman 100. Freeman. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. I know it's a little bit boring doing this, but... The best way to fight these darn Suebi. We need to... Once they uh, start getting their jabbies out, we need to catch them, basically. Speed it up a bit again. Oh, they hate they hate the cavalry moving, don't they? Really don't like the cavalry moving. Let's go. feel like I'm playing Horse Archer Death Stacks again. How many have we killed so far? 12% It's pretty good, and we've not even really got going with the archers. Oh, hello. Did not see that coming. Should absolutely crush them here, though. Come on. Come on, break them. Break them. We're going to get jabbies into us now. It's not going to be fun. Come on, kill them, guys. We're not really losing our Greek generals, so... That's fine. Okay, they're gone. Get them. Okay, the cavalry's come into my archers. That's fine. Get out. Just go. Just go. Yeah, good luck, fools. Oh. 
Glorious. Just basically killed half that unit in that charge. Now out, boys. Out. Get away from them. Now they've charged in, which is good to see. Normally they don't like to do that. Oh, this poor unit. 19 of them. Come on, the generals. Oh, it's so nice having good cavalry now. They're a bit slow, of course. But they're very nice. <laughs> they're very decent. They keep firing their jabbies. And now into them. We'll just keep bouncing between these two units. Okay, they're broken anyway. Why would you run the wrong way? You ran that way. They're here. Stupid guys. These are two generals. And uh, I want to line up a nice charge. So kill as many of those as you can. Then we'll line up a filthy charge. Speed it up a little bit. I mean, there's a load of units coming this way now. Let's go then. I don't want to fight them all. I want to fight them individually. A Ute General is slow. That's the one problem we have. See, like, their Freemen are pretty much the same pace. Oh, this charge is going to be brutal, though. Surely, come on. How have we not killed more than that? Oh, God damn it! It's because you're so fucking slow. Come on. Get out. You idiots. Ah. Oh. Alright, let's come around. I want to tango with these fools. I don't care about phalanx anymore. You guys just need to be off phalanx and just charging. I hate the Suebi. What an annoying nation to fight. Not quite as annoying as the uh, Avarachi. Or Aravachi, I can't remember which way around it is. But still very annoying. Let's come up this way. One of you, carry on. Why are you all... Ah, uh, you're all in phalanx still. Get out of phalanx. Into the back of them. They just don't stand and fight. Such pussios. There we are. That's what we like to see. Kill them all, for God's sake. Kill all of these fools. Just for the annoyance that they bring. Come on, kill this general's unit. Let's halt. Get your phalanx down. Come on, boys. Kill them. Are they withdrawing? No, they're not withdrawing. They're just... Annoying. Kill them. Why would you run? Oh, they are withdrawing. Right then. Let's get them. They might survive this, you know. We've got 30% left. Phalanx. Okay. Attack them. I don't think we're going to catch those guys. Speed this up. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Right, there we are. Get them. Speed it up. Broken now. Kill them all. Nice, good. Ah, well, that's at least a bit cathartic. Destroying them like that. Um, right, are you... You're not going to catch any of those, are you? Kill them. Off phalanx, boys. Ha, huh, what an annoying nation to fight when you're a phalanx-based nation. But that's the challenge, isn't it? Kill him. Kill them all. There we are. How many did we kill then? I mean, I don't think it's... 
It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Okay, cool. I mean, we killed a lot more than we lost, really. Archer's doing really well again. So Archer's just... If they're in the right place, they do some serious damage. Well done, guys. Good. I will see you guys are back on the campaign map. Here we are. Glorious. They didn't fully die. Got a feeling that they'll have a full stack around here somewhere because... The Suebi have a lot of full stacks. <laughs> Why wouldn't you attack a Sanka? Just go and take a Sanka, bro. They do neighbor the Bosporan, so maybe this will go north to try and fight uh, Scythopolis, which would be nice. Hello, Bosporans. Nice to see you. Fantastic. I think that's everyone, right? We're still retraining these armies. Might as well. Oh, Clean Armies probably will fit in there. Or at least some of the troops will. Um, so they can get a bit of a retrain as well. Yeah. Down to the last sort of man. And we might as well get you in there so it doesn't waste more turns than we need to retraining. Good. Cool. Alright, and Brachia's retraining as well. Fantastic. Um... Where is that boat that we dropped you off with? Right, we'll uh, try and come back safely to Patavium if we can. And the other boat that we have Protus on. Yeah, right, cool. End the turn then. See what happens. Nice. I can't believe the Seleucids didn't push their advantage down here. They were... They were the, the Ptolemies basically had no troops. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. God damn, Suebi, bro. Can only just hope to be on a massive hill. But we're not going to be. Do I split them? I mean, this 194 is not going to make a difference at all, is it? Ah. I just want a hill. Please. <laughs> just give me a hill. I've had so few battles with hills. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. This Here we are. This is a day for the histories. Tales of bravery that will be written in the blood of our foes. Blood of our foes. Oh, we got a bit of a hill. Oh, my days. Wow. Something I was not expecting. All right, the flanking units. I want to be you two because you're the weakest. Oh, glorious. It's glorious to see such a thing. Thank you, map gods. Oh, and Jesus. For giving, us, for giving us the glorious hill. Is that high enough for us not to shoot our guys in the back? Probably not. Come back a bit. I think that'll be... That'll be good enough for now, anyway. Kandros. I really did savage this poor unit. Um, so we'll go with you guys on the left. They do have three generals, which I'm hoping they're just going to charge in like lunatics. They are Germanians after all. Cool. Oh, the music's just changed. Um, you're going to do the stupid thing where they try and just flank on one side and, and, and completely attack one side and do nothing else. Which, okay, maybe they're not. That's that's alright then. All right, surely we should be able to start firing now. It's actually, actually a better position for our archers. Should be able to... How can they just fire inside that block? They've got a huge height advantage. Yeah, no, okay, they, they can fire. It just said they can't for some reason. That's their bodyguard. That's Nasawa of Chatty. Ideally, I want to shoot at these guys rather than the bodyguard. I can deal with the bodyguard because they'll just charge into our phalanx. And all of you can fire in there. That would be ideal. Everyone that can fire in there, fire in there. 
I'm going to go just after my cavalry. You can, but it's a bit of a stupid move, I'd say. We kill that general, we win, basically. So hopefully he charges, which he's going to do. Yeah, fire into this big blob. Probably these freemen. Have we killed him? Oh, good already. Phalanx mode. Phalanx mode. <laughs> He's there. Kill him. <laughs> uh, shoot that Freeman. So, let's see what they do here. I mean, actually, fire at the general. I'm going to fire their javies, but they won't do a huge amount of damage, most likely. I mean, hope, hoping so. We've got decent shield. Decent armor stat. We just try and engage them in melee and run out straight away. Come on. I hate it when they do that stop. Now out, now out, now out. Ha! He got killed by archers. What a foolish mo- What a fool of a took. Fire at those boys down there. I mean, they eventually got to run out of ammo, right? Yeah, they only have two each, so I don't really... ...know what they're doing. Like, how can they keep firing forever? You've only got two, two each. So you're going to charge or not? Yeah, let's watch this. Oh, yeah. They're nowhere near our own troops. That's good. Oh, they're getting shredded as well down there. Very nice to see. So they've run out of ammo. So do we... Do we go? I think we do. See, why would they run? They've run out of ammo. Don't run away. What a stupid... I don't, uh, I don't know whether the, the AI is just, just broken with them. Like, what? Like, why run away? You've got no ammo left. Okay, now they've got a bit. That's the worst time for them to fire as well. They still do have a bit of ammo. They're just not firing it. We're just firing down this hill. I'm happy with that. Our troops won't be able to catch these guys up as well because... Yeah, they're fast moving. Our phalanxes, of course, are not fast moving. Okay, they're firing. They're firing the final rounds off now. They should charge, surely. Doing some decent damage to us, but... That's fine. Come on, fire off your javies and run. Charge us, you pussies. Okay, these guys are coming now. That's good. Fire at them. What are you? Like a Freeman 100 without anybody. Now they charge. Come on. Finally. Okay, maybe. <laughs> oh, we'll get them. Oh, this is the second army. Captain Hemmer. Okay, maybe they didn't want to engage before that secondary army came. Route that boy. Now out. Before we get Javis thrown into us. See, they're running. Run away. I don't get it. <laughs> it's just an interesting to watch this. I think the AI, honestly, is broken. Like, they just don't know how to use these troops. Like, there must be units in there that have used all their ammo now. Surely. But yet they refuse to charge. Well, our archers just fire at them. God damn, fuck off! Okay, 
Okay, we'll kill that general. There. So they wanted to charge my cavalry, but now they, they won't charge the infantry. Makes zero sense. Look at them! What are they doing? Makes zero sense. Get them. God damn, hate these guys. What an annoying nation to play against. Form it! We must have killed this guy now, surely. Actually, don't, I don't care about him. Okay, now someone's charging in. Well done. Someone with some balls. How did we only kill four in that charge? God damn it, bro. Makes no sense, this. Watch them all run away if I do this. Yeah, they all <laughs> they all run. What are they doing? Oh my god, damn bro. Dumbest motherfuckers. Okay, break these fools. I cannot stand fighting these guys. These guys these guys are definitely worse than the Aravachi to fight. Because at least the Aravachi will charge. These guys just run away. Alright, well we'll surround you at least. Oh fuck off, stupid prick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, you turn around, you phalanx. What are you? Why are you not in phalanx? Right now, you guys here will surround them. You guys need to be in phalanx as well. Where is uh, Nicandros? Get him in there. Get into the back of those. Okay, that's good. We routed those boys quite quickly. Right now, you boys through this. The enemy general is running away. This is no way Get in there. To behave, but in battle, it is oh, damn, what an annoying fight! You just chase those fools off because they will come back. How are you guys surrounded? You're in phalanx formation! God damn, bro. How annoying. Get them. Hit them in the back. I'll kill this Freeman. Actually, they should route pretty quickly. Yeah, straight straight into the route. I send my uh, the rest of these boys up here to chase them down. Yeah, I get them. Charge them. Now you through. We lose so many troops fighting these guys as well, just because we're fighting them. Are they fighting to the death or are they just going to die? Good. Anyone else? Might kill them. Or kill these guys at least. God damn. I think, I think phalanxes are, the, are a weakness against these guys, honestly. Big weakness. Go straight through. You guys kill them. You guys into them. Say they knew they would come back. Kill as many of those as you can. Kill them. And we'll leave this 15 to mop up those. You guys fight them. Archers. Go fight. 
Archers are quick, so they can at least charge the enemy down. Will you actually kill them, please? How are we doing up here? Uh, who else we got? You! Huh, what an annoying... Annoying people to fight. Maybe... How many we killed, anyway? Yeah, let's just end the battle. So we probably didn't take the... Oh, we didn't take the city then. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Ah, they found us again. No, they haven't. Oh, yes, they have. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight you, Suebi. Go away. <laughs> anyway, guys, well, I'll leave this for now. We'll fight that to the start of the next battle. I just can't handle fighting the fucking Suebi anymore. So annoying. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Uh, I am just being salty about the Suebi. They're just hard to fight, um, which is good. Good. It gives challenge. I mean, it says that we're going to lose this, so but he can't run away. So even if we route all these guys, we're going to kill them all. So that's good. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you again on the next video.